The November election is less than two weeks away, and one of the big races on the ballot is for Scranton mayor. Seven candidates are running for the top seat at Scranton City Hall. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler joins us live outside City Hall with what voters need to know. Cody. Mark, good evening. Last week I interviewed four of the five independent candidates. Today I spoke with Democratic candidate Chris Cullen and Republican candidate Charlie Spano about what they would like to see done if elected mayor. Both Chris Cullen and Charlie Spano were nominated in August by their own party's committee. Republican and retired school teacher Charlie Spano announced his bid for the mayoral seat to clean up Scranton. We're going to in, uh, discuss this thoroughly and people are going to understand that in this building corruption will not be tolerated at all. With former mayor Bill Courtright pleading guilty to federal corruption charges in July, candidates say they have an obligation to cure the black eye, which is why in part Democrat and practicing lawyer Chris Cullen is running. What I bring to the office in January will be a fresh start, a fresh start based on abilities and perspective and professionalism. That will push away the, the tincture of corruption. Both candidates explained what they want to do to improve Scranton starting in January. Cullen believes he can unify the city for a common purpose. Cracking down on slum lords and improving our neighborhoods, working on the tax structure of our city. I'm all for the uh, payroll uh, tax as opposed to mercantile. I'm all for stopping the rain tax. I will not support a tax increase in the city of Scranton. I personally believe that a 1% savings can be made. That's $1 out of every 100 of the $107 million in the city budget. Spano wants a more transparent atmosphere inside City Hall and tackle big and small issues like new street signs. While Cullen says he is for restructuring the tax base, he's not for tax increases, but is for property reassessment to align taxes appropriately. At the same time, make it more equitable. And I would like to see a program where we can help senior citizens in homes in our city of Scranton who are being threatened by tax payments. I'm not doing this job as a resume enhancement. I want the responsibility to be the mayor for all the people. Charlie Spano also says he does not support the rain tax. He also says as a retired teacher, he will not receive health benefits or a pension from the city. Both Chris Cullen and Spano say they want a mayor grant program where someone can write grants for the city. In Scranton, Cody Butler, Eyewitness News. Mark. Thank you, Cody. The special election for Scranton mayor will appear on the November 5th ballot.